Hello everyone, it's me again. Welcome to Pastor Kim's Corner. And yes, it's me, Pastor Kim. So yesterday, we did Romans, the 12th chapter, the first verse, okay? We found out that all that we go through, all the sacrifices that we make for the kingdom is just what we're supposed to be doing. It's not anything special. And today, I'm going with verse 2, okay? And it says, And be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is good and acceptable and the perfect will of God. I'm going to read that again. This is King James. I really need the NIV. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. So let me read from the NIV. And it says, do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. Okay, y'all, so did y'all get that? Don't be conformed. Don't go along with what the world is doing, okay? But be transformed by the renewing of your mind. And how do you renew your mind? You renew your mind through the word of God. That's how you renew your mind, people, through God's word, okay? So when you hear something or see something, I always say you have to protect your ear gate and your eye gate. So when you hear something and you see something, if your mind has been uh, constantly being renewed by the word of God, when you hear something and you see something, you'd be like, mm, that's, that ain't right. I don't care how they making it sound. It's not right. I don't care how it look, it's not right. So be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Once your mind becomes transformed, then you will be able to see and know what is that perfect will of God. You won't have to worry about it. You know, you won't have to go, mm, mm, I don't know. Is that you are you getting what I'm saying? Because the world will have you saying things and doing things that are not necessarily the will of God for your life. How about that? <laughs> not necessarily the will of God for your life. I could talk about that. I want y'all to know too, if y'all ever have any questions or topics or anything you want to talk about, please feel free to send me an uh, email or drop it down in the comment section. And uh, we could definitely talk about it. I'm open for conversation that's about the Word of God or questions that you have. And we can look for the answers in the Word of God, okay? So be not conformed, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. You don't want to have any doubts. You want to know what you know. And you want to know that you know it by the Word of God. All right? I hope you have a blessed day. Most of all, I hope you have a purpose-filled life in Jesus' name. And you do know that I love you with that agape love. Don't forget to like, subscribe, post a comment, hit the notification bell so we can get this word in every single day. Y'all be blessed.